Hi, and welcome to The Slowdown, a podcast about slowing down and being thoughtful about life and leadership. I'm your host, Adam Walker. Today, I'm going to tell you five lessons that I learned from David Abney, the CEO of UPS. Recently, I was able to go and listen to a talk that Mr. Abney gave, and it was a really inspiring talk, and he said a lot of things that were great. And what I want to do in this episode is I want to break down five key things that he said about leadership lessons. And then I want to maybe talk about a few more nuggets, a few more interesting things that he said that I thought were really helpful for us to keep in mind. So to start off, five leadership lessons from David Abney, the CEO of UPS. Number one, do not wait to make the perfect decision. Waiting to make the perfect decision is going to mean that you make an outdated decision. Business and life moves so quickly a leader must be willing to do due diligence, but recognize that decisions are going to have to be made without perfect information. And therefore, we have to be ready to lead and pull the trigger, sometimes without perfect information. So again, if you wait to make the perfect decision, you're going to make a perfect outdated decision. Instead, make a good decision now. Number two, avoid being complacent. Preference for the status quo is the biggest sickness an organization can have. He said that, quote, staying the course is not a good strategy because the course is continually changing and an organization has to continually continually make course corrections along the way in order to grow. He said that Jack Welch once said, if the rate of change on the outside exceeds the rate of change on the inside, the end is near. So current opportunities will not persist And leaders must recognize those opportunities and act on them while there's still time to ensure success. Every organization must be willing to transform. Next, he said, never waste a good crisis. A crisis is a great opportunity for leaders to step up. It separates the good leaders from the bad ones because the good leaders will rise up and they will take more responsibility and they will lead and the bad leaders will fade away or run away. And even though crisis may be terrible, they're an opportunity for growth for leaders that want their organizations to grow and learn. Next, he said, give credit for success to other people. No leader leads alone. We don't do anything by ourselves. We do things with teams. And when a team wins, it's because the team won, not because the leader led. And so, We need to recognize that we're only in positions of leadership because we have amazing teams and good leaders will lift up those teams all the time, continually over and over and over again. He also said that when leaders, when things go wrong, a good leader is the one that takes the responsibility instead of trying to blame and and give the team responsibility. Next, he said, and number five, he said, opportunity isn't something that we are entitled to. It's something we earn. He talked about how a pitcher pitches a ball and the opportunity for the batter to hit that ball is there, but for the ba- in order for the batter to seize the opportunity, the batter has to swing. The opportunity isn't owed to anyone, but it tends to come to those that work for it. And a leader has to be ready to take the swing. So we shouldn't think about opportunity as something that we're owed, something that's, that we're entitled to, but it's something that we earn. It's something that we work for. So those are the five leadership principles from uh, David Abney, the CEO of UPS. But now I want to talk about a few other things that I learned. Uh, So we had a question and answer time and I was able to ask him this question. So I asked him, what personality trait do you look for most in a leader? And he gave me two, which was great. He said, first humility, a good leader shouldn't use the word I all the time. And, and I can tell you throughout his entire talk, he was continually talking about we, we at UPS did this. Our team did this. Our vision is this. It was never me, my, I, it was always we, us, and ours. And that really, really impressed me. The second personality trait that he said was important is putting the team first. He said, good leaders are willing to put the company and the team above personal interests. I thought that was great. Also, there's just a few other nuggets that I want to share before I wrap up here. At one point, he said, quote, don't let people tell you what you can't do. And he was advocating for an unwavering belief in yourself. And then he actually went on to talk about a family quip where his family 
if they know they want him to do something, they'll tell him he can't do it. And then he'll prove them wrong because he's determined to do what people say he can't do. And I really found a lot of value in that because I've had people throughout my life tell me I can't do things. And then I go and I do them and it, and it just drives me to do more and more and more. He also said that it took him 40 years, 40 years at UPS to become CEO. That requires a fantastic amount of tenacity that I find just truly, truly inspiring. And then lastly, he mentioned casually that he is a big fan of history. And I can't help but wonder if his love of history has helped him to have a paradigm and a perspective that has helped him to guide UPS into growth over the last several years. So that, those are my thoughts from my talk with uh, David Abney, the CEO of UPS. He's really an amazing leader. I think he's certainly worth following in the news and, uh, and if he happens to be on social. And I hope you got a lot out of it as much as I certainly did.